Hey, what is up you guys, Drakama is here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Origami King. Now, I know, uh, <laughs> we're still in, uh, in October for that, but the schedule has been changed, and I know I'm supposed to play the, the, the Pokemon Violet next, however, things that have been came up with the, like, uh, how should I say this, a uh, bit of a heads up about it, cause, uh, a person that I mentioned that I was borrowing this game by Will mentioned that I wants to return. So we did have a little talk about uh, like like where like when did he want it returned by, and he mentioned that he will have it returned by the end of this week because he gets off on the, on the weekend. So I figured about like doing something with the Paper Mario the Origami King because. We still have a long ways, like, hold on a second, because we still have a long ways to go, I believe, because... Yeah, we still have a long ways to go, because... If you remember that I've already defeated the red one, but now we should be coming up with the blue one next. So, that's the reason. However... So, I figured out, I figured that I believe this might be the best opportunity to do something, uh, to do something like play the Paper Mario the Origami King for this week only. Now, I know the last one that I mentioned was the Cult of the Lambs. However, I did have a little comments for someone, which is also Dead Said. Again, thank you so much for the comments, but... Here is also a question. A question is asking, like, when am I going to play the horror games? Now, honestly, as I have to remind you all of the one things for that, because remember, Cult of the Lamb was also part of the horrors. It's just like a similar to, like, Animal Crossing. And the only thing you have to do is just, like, you know, it is your cult. And, of course, it does have the ritual, it does have the challenge for that, and also, you have to grind them up for it to get a lot of experience for that, and, yeah, that's the only thing. So, Cult of the Lamb was also one of the thing. And, but, that's not the only thing. I also have the other horror games for that, which I did add on the list, but I was hoping I might as well do the, like, some um, Deadcraft, because Deadcraft was also a part of the, the horror one, except that you're doing in a survival of, like, a crafting from a zombie, ap like, to the zombie apocalypse. So that's also one of the things. And also, ah yes, Sinking City. Now I was planning on playing the Sinking City, but I did ask a lot of it, like a lot of my friends that uh, what do they want me to play, such as Sinking City, Dead Crab, or the cult, all the Cult of the Lamb. A lot of my friends are pointing out uh, like, uh, like, ooh, cult of, like Cult of the Lamb is a good one because yes. I gotta agree with it, uh, but also keep this one in mind. Cult of the Lamb was also part of the uh, of the Halloween special for it. In fact, there's actually a Halloween the event one from I believe. Whoops, wrong button. Anyways, as I mentioned, in that Cult of the Lamb was also part of those, and which is also they have a special event such as the Blood Moon one, or I believe the Blood Moon rituals. I believe. So, I think that's how it's supposed to. Uh, there's also the other things I was hoping to, like, might also play it along with it. Such as Dead Cell. I really need to download Dead Cell again, so I can play it again. And also, Have a Nice Death. Now, remember, Have a Nice Death that has, like, the Grim Reaper. And Reaper, like, the Grim Reaper is also one of those in the Halloween theme, of course. So, yeah. That's, that's the reason why I've already... Now, like, that's the, the reason why I, you know, I'm pretty sure I've done this a lot for that. But I was gonna, like, continue on doing this. And plus, I was thinking about, like, starting from the beginning from Dead Cells. But I might as well do it, like, the most, well, let, let me say, let's just say, like, a technical part of those. Which I'm actually glad they add that one just in case. So, I might as well do that challenge. But, yeah. But yeah, there's also some other parts of those that I did add on the wish list. Um, uh, which one was it? Uh, I don't, no, I couldn't remember really which one was it. Uh, but, but yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyways, 
Regardless of that, as I mentioned, those are the only games for that. Now, yeah, uh, now there was the other game was was what was the game I still played during that? Oh yeah, that's right, Amnesia. I forgot about that one. I believe no, I believe I did play Amnesia for the like for the past, but I somehow stopped it in that moment, which I f pretty sure I forgot to continue on for that. So. No, so, I'll probably have to, like, let's just say, I might as well have to start over from the beginning and try to catch up with, uh, like, to the point where I'm at. So, so I might as well, like, uh, so I might as well, I don't know. Oh, there might be some other games I might have, but, uh, hmm, pretty sure I have others. Uh, uh, hold on a moment, I'm, I might as well check out what I have on the list. Okay, I just hop into the eShop and, and it turns out I was also waiting for this one, Hogwarts Legacy. Now, this is a game I was waiting for this moment. It, I was waiting for this moment. Now, for those of you guys who are, you know, Harry Potter's fan, and if you want to, like, do some Hogwarts games for that, I think this is a good opportunity for it. And it seems like it's going to be available next month on the 14th. Not bad. I've been waiting for this one. But anyway, but anyways, I just want I just want to show you guys that this one just pops out for that. Plus, you can actually pre-order it. So, this is actually a good opportunity to add it on a list or should I say pre-order it. So, <laughs> just do that. Just well, just do it right away for it. It, before it releases, of course. You, you might get something special when you pre-order. I don't know. But, only one way to find out. So, let me... So, anyways, let me check on the list and see what I got so far. So, I'll get right to it. Okay, so, I'm on the wish list and, and, and like I said, I did add the uh, Hulk Wars Legacy on it. But, yes, there are so many games that got me interesting for that. But, also, there are some scary games in there that I'm also interested in. There, such as this one... And, uh, Amanda the Adventures. Now, for some of you guys have heard about the Amanda the Adventures for it. It was from the, like, other YouTubers that also played this one. But now, this one is now on Switch. And, of course, this one got me pretty interesting. And I really want to jump into this one. Like, I really want to see what would actually be on, like, feels like to be on Switch. There's other games in there that I, uh, this one that got me, how should I say this? A little bit confusing? But quite curious at the same time. Now, this one does seem like a love romantic, something like that. But this one seems a bit like um, a yandere. Like, this is what it just seems like it. So, I don't know who came up with this. But it seems pretty challenging. Now, for the... Now, for some of you guys have heard about the Yandere game one, something like that, it's kind of like that one. Although, this one's kind of twisted, which I'm not sure if that's actually a thing, but anyways. And also, I did add the Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition, because I wanted to play the Borderlands 3, and of course, I'm actually glad that it just got out. And yeah, like I mentioned, I am planning on returning to play Borderlands uh, 1, you know, the first one, because I still need to, you know, get back on track for it. And there was actually the other things that, what was the other games that I have on the list? Yeah, there's actually, like, yeah, Pikmin, the Pikmin games I also add, including, like, Pikmin 3, Pikmin 4, and, of course, the Pikmin 1 and 2, which I am planning on getting it. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Now, the now here's the other ones that I'm also interested in, such as the Bra uh, Branley, the Mountain King, Fran uh, Franbo, Franbo, I believe. Now, I believe I played for just the part one, but not the rest of it. But that was like, I think it happened way back. I believe it happened way back when I was in high school. And this one got me pretty interesting that it happens in part one for that, but not the rest of them. And I'm pretty sure it's just a test. So, yeah. 
Uh, other things in that, ah yes, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, but don't worry, I also add the, all the Five Nights at Freddy's games, such as uh, 1 to 4, including Sister's Location, and now, including it like the, well, you know, Sister's Location, and now Security Breach is also now on Switch. And I'm pretty sure there's actually a DLC along with it, so we might as well. Other things that uh, I might as, you know, I want to give it a shot is this one. Now, this is also a fishing game for that. But also, also allows you to like, which one was there? Like, it's kind of scary, so you guys, so you guys might as well, well, brace yourself with that one. Uh, Ash, Ash is like pretty interesting, which I have no idea how, but this one got me curious. Let's see, I'm pretty sure there's, man, there's like some other games that I've also added on the list. Because they got me pretty interesting for that. Very interesting. And also, I did add Hello Neighbors. Because I'm very interested to play Hello Neighbors. But I figured about like starting with Hello Neighbors. Then Hello Neighbors 2. Oh, which I did add the first one to it. And I believe... Yeah, the... Ah! There's the Cult of the Lamb uh, Cultist Edition. Which, there's actually like a, a special item that you can actually get. But, like I mentioned, I've already got the Cult of the Lamb, but not the, the package one for something like that. And yeah, there's also a White Days, which also got me interesting to see more about it. Besides, honestly, I am very interesting for some of the games that got me more challenging. And of course, some other scary games that I really want to play for others. So, so yeah. And like I mentioned, I've already added uh, Hello Neighbors, and also, I also add this one because there are two games of Sherlock Holmes in one pack, two of those games, so that's why I add that one to the list. And last, but I believe there's more, like, there's a lot more. And there's actually, like, this one, which also got me interesting, hey, the Zombie Army one, and uh, Don't Starve Together. There, there is a lot. And also a Happy Humble Burger Farm, which is also available on Switch. So, yeah. There's actually, like, tons of those for that, so. So, that, so, yeah. So, yeah, there's plenty more where that came from, but, but hey, if there's any uh, of the scary games in it, I, like, any horror games you guys would want me to add on the list, in case that, that if you guys want me to play it in Horrors of the Month, let me know, like, let me know in the comments down below. So, anyways, I do want to apologize to if I like waiting for so long because we really need to get back in track of, like, get back on track. Whereas, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to remember, like, which button is it? Now, pretty sure, like, wait, hold on a second, did I? Wait a minute. Oh wait, I believe I did it. I didn't unlock the the second one, did I? Pretty sure I forget. Okay. Okay, I need to like double check to see did I talk to the doctor yet? Or I don't know Wait, hold on a second, hold on a flipping second Oh, I don't think I have a talk to him There we go. Oh, there we go. I was wondering, like, is there like a doctor here? Because it seems like it.
Oh, I guess he wants us to try it out. In fact, I might be curious of how this one goes. Hmm. So, let's see. Whoops. I keep pressing the wrong button, and I, I keep accidentally pressing the B to, like, jump, but I forget. B is a hammer. <laughs> Besides, it's a Mario game, so... Let's get to it. Yep. Okay. Yep, we can hear you. Okay. Hmm. The device on your head. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, the closer you are to the protection at home. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. Got it. Okay, find a hidden tone before the battery runs out. Okay. Okay, so it seems like... Yeah, it's here. That's good, that's good. Let's see. Okay, I believe I see the butterfly one, the butterfly origami. But it seems like... Ah! Spotted. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, we got him. All right, so we got ourselves a toad radar. That could actually come in handy. Hold on a second. Uh, the iTunes is a. Uh... Ah! It's full battery, so yeah. Alright, alright, alright. So now, we get to return. So I believe the last time I did, like, I didn't have a chance to talk to this one. So, I guess we could get back up here. 
you don't. No, you don't. I believe there was... Ah, yes, there he is. There we go. I was trying to remember, uh, like, is that like a ZR to, like, do the confetti? Second. No, I guess not. Sorry. Ah, memory loss. I mean, I can understand that one. <laughs> He's good him over.
Sure, why not? Big M. All right. So we got so we got a bomber buddy with us. Bomber buddy. Bomber buddy. <laughs> Oh, someone's crumpled up. Hmm. Also, I just noticed that, uh, that there was a... There we go. And there was also the origami one. Oh! Oh, so see, Captain Toad. I was wondering where we could find him. Let's just fix that one. There's like so many holes to like patch this up. And there's actually like... Hmm. Ooh, almost fell. There we go. Seems like there's something from the back. Oh, there's actually something there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we need, we might need to fall. <laughs> also, I get the feeling. Yeah, it's a dead end. But the blue string is just. Still going. Hmm. That is a good point. Plus, hold on a second. Are those? Oh, those bolts are actually blocked. Hmm. So I guess we need to... Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. 
we just need to get rid of it. Let's see. Bingo! Still got it. Let's give it a smile. And give him a shiny hair. There we go. Oh, there's like so many. Yep. Wave battle. Huh? Oh, yeah, what one he added? Oh, wait a second. Get rid of these guys first. Oh, I thought I got it right. Boom. Oh. Oh, we can use it? So if we destroy the enemy. We can use those abilities. Oh. Okay. That was unexpected. But anyways, guys, I think that will be it. I think I think that will be it for this video for today. Hey, so I will have to continue on playing the Paper Mario: The Origami King from only a week. Hey, and that will be pretty much it. Which is also the or the Paper Mario: The Origami King will be put on hold at the end of the week. Hey, until I might get my own game for this one. But of course, now. I'm pretty sure you guys might be worried and that uh, that wouldn't be I would well that would mean I will have to start over however there's actually the other opportunity because remember as long as I'm a member of the Nintendo online members for it it'll get it'll also save up for my data from the backup one from the cloud so that's actually a perfect opportunity for it so yeah as long as I have to save files for it then I'm I'm good to go for to continue on so Without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and without further ado, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button for this video, and if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell on the next video, so in case you guys don't want to miss any video, and also, let me know in the comments down below what is on your thoughts about for this video, also, check out the other videos, if you guys are interested to see other games that I also played, instead of Pepper Mario the Origami King, you can check it out on my YouTube channel also, and don't worry, I will be continuing on playing the Pokemon, and of course, Cult of the Land in probably like next week, I believe, like on Monday. So, no need to, so yeah, no need to get some worries up. So, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Top shot on the flip side. See ya!